When a change in one quantity results in a corresponding change in another quantity, then the two quantities are said to be in variation. We will study about direct and inverse variations and problems related to time and work and time and distance. The two quantities can be related in such a way that both increase or decrease together. Also, they may vary in such a way that one decreases and the other increases. So, there are two types of variations. In this chapter, we will learn about direct variation and inverse variation. Direct variation, two quantities related in such a manner that an increase in one results in a corresponding increase in the other or a decrease in one results in a corresponding decrease in the other. That is, both quantities increase and decrease together. For example, money paid to buy a book. The more books you buy, the more you pay or less you buy, the less you pay. So, it is said that price and commodity are directly proportional. In the animation, we can see if you buy 5 books for 50 rupees, then you have to pay double for 10 books. Also, if two quantities x and y are in direct variation, then the ratio k remains constant. This constant k is called the constant of variation. Then x upon y is equal to k, which is a constant. That is, x is equal to ky. Solving problems of direct variation. Two quantities would be given which are in direct variation. Three values will be given and we need to find the fourth value. For example, let the two quantities be x and y. Given values x1, x2, y1 to find y2. Since x and y are directly proportional, then x upon y is equal to x1 upon y1 is equal to x2 upon y2. In this example, the cost of 16 books is rupees 300. We have to find the cost of 18 books. Solution let y2 be the cost of 18 books. The given information can be put in a table form to make the work easier. And on solving it, we have the cost of 18 books. It is rupees 337 and 50 paisa. Here we will learn about direct variation, time and distance. Speed. The speed of a moving object is the distance moved by it in unit time. For example, if a car travels 50 kilometers in one hour, then the speed of the car is 50 kilometers per hour and it is written as 50 kilometer per hour. Uniform speed. If an object covers equal distance in equal intervals of time, then its speed is said to be constant or uniform. The distance, speed and time taken are connected by the following relations. Here are some important formulae. Speed is equal to distance upon time. Distance is equal to speed into time. And time is equal to distance upon speed. Let us understand the concept of speed with the help of an example. 